hello everyone uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the concept called as a pinch off in uh, mosfets i'm assuming that you might have uh, gone through many explanation about pinch off uh, but here i'm not going into more depth uh, uh, about the process but intuitively i am going to explain what exactly happens during pinch off and why does it happen and what actually happens if if the mosfet is uh, you know if the channel is already pinched off so let us just see what is a pinch off let's just just look graphically what is what happens uh, let's suppose this is a this is a nmos device uh, this is my nmos device and this is the gate terminal and this is the source and this is the drain terminal okay uh, now we know that uh, in in order to create a channel uh, the gate voltage and source voltage the gate voltage to source voltage must be threshold voltage or greater than that it can be even greater than equal to the threshold voltage now let's just give some numbers for example let's say uh, the vth or the threshold voltage is let's say one volt okay so it only means that the gate voltage to source voltage that is gate voltage minus source voltage it must be greater than one volt if you want to create a channel now uh, now let us uh, just do that uh, let's say i i i just take uh, i just connect the gate oh, i'm sorry uh, i just uh, i just take voltage source here and you know i connect this voltage source uh, to the gate and a source i connect it to ground so ground is zero volts and the source is zero volts and gate voltage uh, let's say let us say it is uh, um, let's say it is three volts okay so what is gate to source voltage now that is three volts minus zero volts that is three volts so gate to source voltage is uh, three volts uh, remember the bulk the substrate is uh, connected also to the ground uh, just uh, in this example okay i'm assuming i am considering that the source and bulk that is the source and the bulk is connected to ground uh, and uh, let's say initially let's say that uh, the drain is also connected to ground uh, so for this example you know uh, the threshold voltage is one volt but uh, the gate to source voltage is uh, you know three volts so what is the extra voltage out of this three volts okay one volt is used to create a channel and the remaining two volt is a overdrive or extra voltage okay so extra voltage actually creates a, a channel depth so what happens is we uh, there is a channel which is created here okay there is a channel and this vov or uh, this two volts which is extra is directly proportional to the depth of the channel so whatever depth v is there here the depth of this channel is you know directly directly proportional to the overall drive voltage so the overall drive voltage is the voltage uh, which you have in excess the excess voltage apart from the threshold voltage so this is with now we have a nice clean you know a nice and clean channel which is created between uh, the drain and the source so it's very nice okay and uh, because the drain is also connected to ground the channel depth you know the channel depth is uniform between the drain and the source there is a uniform depth Okay. what i mean to say is uh, this depth here and the this depth here both are the same okay uh, okay now uh, let me just see uh, tell you intuitively how to look at this remember when we are applying gate voltage and drain voltage and source voltage uh, the voltages actually create electric field for example uh, the electric for example let's say this this is some material and if uh, i apply positive voltage here and negative here there is electric uh, there is electric field from positive to negative there is electric uh, electric field created okay 
and this electric field actually uh, you know it it is responsible it creates the movement of electrons in holes in the material okay now for example uh, here between gate and the source you can see the gate is at 3 volts and uh, the source is at 0 volts so there will be electrical field from gate to source like this okay and this electrical field is uh, there is also electrical field between gate and drain uh, because gate is at 3 volts and drain is at uh, 0 volts there is electrical field even from gate to drain so remember that uh, and there is electrical fields between higher potential to lower potential okay and only if there is a difference between voltages there is electric field for example 3 volts to uh, 0 volts there is electric field now now what happens is uh, uh, what happens is if uh, if you see if i go on, if i now just apply you know if i just connect the drain also to a voltage supply and if i go on increasing this voltage uh, something happens to the channel uh, one easier thing to see uh, to immediately see is uh, uh, let's say if i connect one volt at the drain okay what will happen to the channel and you have to just focus at the channel uh, near the drain region here okay so what will happen here is the voltage difference between the gate and the drain is actually reducing previously when i had i had not connected this the voltage difference between the gate and drain was 3 volts because this was 3 volts and this is zero uh, the so the channel depth here also is uh, let's say this is the channel depth here and the voltage difference between the gate and source is again 3 volts but so near the source the channel depth is uh, something uh, this is the channel depth so the depth of the channel on the drain side and source side is the same if drain is connected to zero now let's say if you connect voltage source and uh, if you apply one volt the voltage difference between gate and source is still three volts because this is three source is still connected at zero so the channel depth here is still uh, uh, the channel depth near here is three it is the same because the voltage difference between gate and source did not change so the channel depth did not change now here at the drain what is happening is the gate to drain voltage difference has reduced previously it was 3 volts now if you see the difference between the gate and drain it is 3 volts minus 1 volts it is 2 volts so remember the channel depth is mainly because of the voltage difference more the voltage uh, more the voltage more the channel depth remember this so the on the source side the gate to source voltage difference is still 3 volts so the channel depth is not changing here but what about uh, this place let's say the channel depth was this much okay now the voltage difference has become 3 uh, sorry 2 volts from 2 volts it has reduced so the channel depth here is going to reduce okay so i think i just exaggerated it <laughs> let's say the channel depth uh, here is this much and here it has become less you can see this now here the channel depth is this much and here the channel depth is less okay this less why it is less because the voltage difference at the drain side gate to drain voltage has uh, reduced now what happens if we increase further uh, let's say instead of uh, one volt i i you know i make it uh, two volts what will happen to this voltage difference gate to drain voltage is now one volt but the gate to source voltage is still the same so the channel depth uh, here is still the same but what will happen to the channel depth here the channel depth here is going to reduce it's not so now we have reached a point where the gate to drain voltage is equal to 1 volt and uh, now this 1 volt is equal to the threshold voltage remember the minimum voltage between the gate terminal and the drain terminal must be at least 1 voltage that is uh, if it is lesser than 1 voltage we cannot have channel at this place right 
because we need the voltage difference at least to be 1 VTH only then we can create a channel so now we can say that the channel has reached a point called as pinch off that is at the drain region there is no sufficient voltage difference between the gate and the drain to create the channel it is exactly equal to one threshold so now we can say we have reached a boundary condition uh, any voltage greater than this for example now let's say instead of 2 volt if i apply 3 volts so the difference between the gate voltage and the drain voltage is uh, 0 volt that is we do not have any voltage between gate and drain to create the channel but remember again i am uh, reminding you that the gate to source voltage is still the same because the source voltage is always connected to zero so the depth here is the same uh, the depth here is never changing only the depth at the drain region is changing now what has happened here is now we have applied uh, the voltage difference is zero it means definitely on the drain region there is no channel at all there is no channel here the, uh, there is no channel at all so see this region there is there is no channel here okay. but uh, the channel will start uh, the channel will start uh, you know the channel will start somewhere from here at this point there is no channel the channel will start from some this point okay now now we can say that the channel is completely pinched off from the drain region there is no channel here so slowly if you go on increasing this voltage again beyond 3 volts let's say if you make it 4 volts okay let's say if you make it uh, 4 volts so what will be this voltage difference this will become minus 1 volt again the difference between the gate and drain is increasing and again this point the channel point is going to move further away now the channel has moved somewhere here okay so this is what is happening uh, the channel in order to have a channel uh, there must be voltage difference and this voltage difference must be everywhere not just between gate to source so one thing which must be very clear is when i say vgs is greater than vth okay uh, for channel creation i assumed that the drain is at a very less voltage but what happens if i increase this drain voltage i have no channel on the drain so that is a simple intuitive way of looking at a pinch off so if we apply more and more drain voltage the channel goes on moving on to the it goes on moving to this left okay and now another thing which 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 you know usually confuses uh, people is now if there is no channel uh, what happens to this voltage between drain and source uh, remember the voltage which you, you have applied at the drain okay you have applied from drain to the ground okay so this voltage here the between the drain this at this point this is uh, this is drain voltage and source is connected to ground okay so let's say what is the voltage now the voltage is 4 volts that 4 volts is here itself right because this this terminal is drain terminal and this is the source terminal which is ground so the drain to source voltage is 4 volts which actually drops across this it which will it will drop in this region what happens in pinch off is there is no channel here it, it is like open circuit right so you can think of this as uh, this is the channel wherever there is channel there is some resistive path and here there is an open open circuit because there is no channel no channel can be considered as an open circuit so what happens here is because there is because the, we have created open circuit and we have applied four volts here the entire four volts you know it will drop across the uh, the pinch of friction here because that is having high resistance so that is about the electrical uh, view of uh, uh, the voltages 
okay i hope uh, i was able to kind uh, was able to explain the concept of pinch off if there is anything which you do not understand uh, uh, please drop a comment thank you